Welcome back to Star Trek The Next Generation Deck Building Game. I don't know. I feel like we're not doing very well. All right, let's just motor on. Uh, player one's hand is a board card. Starfleet Academy, evasive maneuvers, tricorder, and a commander. Ooh, not great. And player two is just full of experience. We don't get blowed up real good. All right, let's see what we have for the card. And we end up with, yes, a ship. Oh, that is actually not bad. Colony Starship. Flip. This card gets plus one to each of its stats. Unless you have a commander in your hand or bridge. So, two diplomacy. Does anybody, for the love of... <laughs> we have a commander, but no tricorder. So, player two can not diplomacy the ship. There is no way. Tricorder. And a commander! Wait a second! Hang on. Uh... I do believe that uh, player one can now diplomacy the ship. Let me double check, and I think he's just got himself a new starship. I think we just pulled it off, because it says here, put this card gets plus one to each of its stats unless you have a commander in your hand. Okay, so in player one's hand is a commander. Awesome, and he has his tricorder, plus two diplomacy. It takes two diplomacy to get this ship. And this ship has now been gotten. So our stats are going to change a little bit. Uh, basically we'll do it like this. Uh, because now our new stats, we've increased our speed, increased our attack. We've got two diplomacy, the same defense. Absolutely awesome. So that was exactly what we wanted to do. That's what we need to do is upgrade our ship. So that's really cool. Love it. All right, what else can player... One do, and player one can upgrade a character. We can go from a five to a seven or a six. And you know what? We're gonna player one's gonna do Starfleet Academy. They're going to take the commander, upgrade the commander, which helped them diplomacy the ship from five to a seven, and they're gonna go ahead and get Duras. You may trash a card in your hand or move one card from your hand to the top of another player's deck. Three attack and one diplomacy, seven. Right on. That was a good uh, turn, and we even had a board card in our hand. That's it. It's the end of player one's turn. Let's see. Player two has a mountain of recruit. Oh, we have to replace that card as well from the space deck. So yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and replace the card. Sorry I wasn't showing you that, but there we go. And we get a uh, transporter. Move one character from your discard area to your hand. To your hand! Oh! Wow, um, ooh, I like that. Oh man, eight, eight. We have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 12. We have 12 recruit. Uh, 12 recruit. I just think we probably better get to Varel. Maneuvers and setups cost you three less. Three speed, two attack, one diplomacy. That leaves us four. So we're recruiting her. And another eight. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, but we can do a four, and we've got no fours. We do have searches, though. Oh, we're going to get rid of this card. We're going to dump the tractor beam for one search. Wow, we're getting some very high-level characters. And we are going to get rid of nine. Wow. Um, let's get rid of... No, I think we're going to leave it there. For we have four left, let's go ahead and get one more lieutenant. <laughs> we're, just, we're just ramping up the characters. Um, yeah, that costs us three. We've got one recruit left, can't do anything with it. And that's the end of the turn. Wow, that was a really good turn. All right, over we go to the next turn. One, two, three, four, five cards for player one. They said, ooh, here we go, more diplomacy. Well, he's got two diplomacy plus two. We got four diplomacy for the ship. And we got our diagnostic check. Okay, that's going to be player one's hand. And player two, one, two, three. Uh, ooh, we have this one, peak performance. And, oops, sorry, there was another card here. Four in our deck, so we need one more card. All right, I'm going to shuffle the discard for player two. And drop one more card for their next hand. Okay, things may be turning around. Ha, <laughs> ha, not really. Not really. you got to have hope, though. This game gives you hope, and then out come the board cubes. All right, one more card, and oh, yeah, speaking of a hope. All righty. Wow, this is looking pretty awesome. What is this upgrade? 
one other card in your hand or bridge to a card in the start breaks costing three more. So we can upgrade this to a four. And that's just a card in your bridge hand to a card. So any card. So we could upgrade like an Ensign to a uh, four uh, maneuver or whatever. We have our basic maneuver three. Could go to a maneuver seven. Is this just maneuvers? Just one card in your hand or bridge to one card from Starbase. That is super powerful. All right, let's see how super powerful things are because we're pulling the next card off the top of the Explorer deck and ooh, it's Locutus of Borg. Oh, yay. Flip, the exploring players gain a Borg card in their hand. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted. Actually, I would have preferred two. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Let's keep looking at what else. Goal, six. Speed, ten attack, using only characters. X is the number of board cards in exploring players' hands. If the goal is met, exploring players win the game. Fail, exploring players gain a board card. Then shuffle this card into the space deck. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get out some dice. I got some little mini dice. So six, how many? So X is the number of board cards in players' hands. <laughs> this is bad. And they just got one, so there's one. Is it just two? So two. Oh, great. So he's basically a speed of eight, and we have to do 12 damage and that's just with characters or he gives us each a board guard and goes and shuffles himself back in the deck what can we do so speed of eight um and now does he no he's gonna do damage to us no we have to come up with six speed and 10 and uh, 12 damage with just characters and we're obviously going to use Diagnostic for our player one. They're going to keep the two Ensigns and ditch the rest. Yeah. So they're going to draw three more cards. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, great. That didn't do much. And the stats stay the same because we still have a board card. All right, so we have a total of uh, one two speed and one two three four five attack one one speed five attack oh wow two speed oh no the diagnostic doesn't count okay what do we have for player two we have diagnostic check can we beat locutus aboard right here right now okay we're gonna get rid of um evasive man oh no that gives oh no we can't use it anything so we're gonna play that we're gonna get rid of evasive maneuvers one card and we're going to get rid of the board card and we're going to draw two cards come on phasers is garbage and a lieutenant okay i don't think we did it but we gave it our best shot actually the stats are going to change now because we got rid of that board card so now we're at 11 we are now at 11 and we are at seven so if we can somehow come up with seven speed between the two of us and 11 attack we will defeat locutus of borg all right we've got uh that doesn't count so of all the characters for player one let's stack them all up we're sitting with one speed and one two three four attack one speed four attack when we look at player two we have um okay what do we have for player two we have three four speed and two three attack no so we have a total of three four five speed we haven't even matched his speed and our total attack is one two three four five six seven so he just laughs at us i'll be back <laughs> so uh if the goal is not met, exploring players oh if the goal is met a fail exploring players gain a board card then shuffle this card into the space deck oh man so we basically each gain a board card in our discard piles and locutus goes away but at least we get to go to the space dock and do something maybe all right and yeah so now you can see we have to beat locutus with just characters oh man all right 
Oh, I'm just going to get things reorganized once again, and we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at what we can do with our player character hands. All right, we're back, and we have player one, a played diagnostic check while we have a board. He's got three, four, five. He's got a total of six. Six recruit, and yes, indeed, for six recruit, he's going to go ahead and get to back. Oh, and I forgot, we have this. Uh, but this did not count against Locutus because it's just characters, but anyway. So we're going to get this uh, for six. Boom. And that's going to just be the end. Three, four of, of player one's turn. And we get Photon Torpedoes. X is number of characters on your bridge times two. Ooh, that's good for blowing up stuff. All right. Player two has got... Uh, maneuvers and setups cost you three less. That would cost one for photon torpedoes. Ooh. And we also have this one. Upgrade one other card in your hand or bridge to one card from Starbase costing three more. Um, so we could take phasers and get just dump this and get a six. We could dump our lieutenant and get a six. Is that what we want to do? Do we have any good sixes out here? Not really. Not really. Um, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and play peak performance. We are going to dump the lieutenant, which means we could get a card. And it didn't say character. It said a card that costs six. But we're going to go ahead and get the five. We're going to go ahead and get this five impulse drive. X number of carousel in your bridge times two. Uh, for this shields and plus two speed so we're going to go ahead and do that that was doing uh, the peak performance we also get the two or is upgrade one of the card in hand or bridge yep so we do get the two experience we get the three experience so we also have three experience so i'm going to replace that with warp speed plus five wow so we still have three experience and you know what we're going to go ahead and get the lieutenant because we might as well spend our experience and make sure we keep having characters in our hand. And that's it! That was not a horrible turn. I don't, well, except Locuta showing up. So anyway, two cards. Oh, man. Oh, no! Come on! Ah, oh, we keep getting that when we have no disc, either no discard pile or all the board cards in our hand. Oh, that is garbage! Okay. Oh, that's... Painful. That is painful. Very painful. All right, three more cards for player two. Come on, let's get. Uh, let's hope we get. Oh, good lord! This is a horrible hand. We get two board cards. With Starfleet Academy, we can upgrade this guy to a nine, and we do have a nine on the board. What is this guy? Select one opponent that player discards a card from your hand. You may gain that discarded card. Three and three. It's not a very good nine, actually. All right, that's player one's hand. Over we go. Player two, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll see what they have. They've got a tricorder and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I don't know if we have time for one more. Let me check the time. We might be flipping one more space deck card. But I don't think we have quite enough time. So you know what? We're going to leave it off there for today. We've run into Locutus of Borg. Wow, he's brutal. We are, wow, we're getting a lot, a lot of uh, nasty cards, Borg cards in our hand. Remember, we ever have five Borg cards in our hand at any one time, and that player is completely eliminated from the game, and then the other one's going to have to go on solo. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. Really appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. This is Star Trek. The next generation deck building game. We're doing the Borg Invasion 1. We're going to eventually take out Locutus of Borg. We, at least we did upgrade a ship. So we got two speed, two attack, two diplomacy for the colony starship. For player one, at least that's something. So thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation.